Okay, game. Can we actually be nice for once? And also, can the brain be nice for once? Because... Good lord, this segment. I mean, it's it's not exactly... Apparently it's not enough for the uh, episode itself to be a difficult and bit of an ordeal-like process. But apparently recording this segment has to be the hardest fucking thing in existence as well. It's really getting to be a bit ridiculous. Let's go through the uh, five failed attempts so far. This is going to be a freaking long ass fucking explanation of what the hell's been going on. But I will try to get through it as quickly as possible. Uh, first attempt, the game lagged out a bit. Nothing much more need to be said about that. Second attempt, I died because um, of an enemy that we are about to see. I'll in just a moment once I've triggered these uh, walls. I've gone through this process enough times to know that it's pretty much just automatic at this point. Yeah, I died to one of these pricks. Get to see these pricks again in the uh, game. God damn it. If I loot, come on. That's the way. Okay, I'm feeling a little bit better about that now. Now, about that Trident Enforcer. Are you still alive? You're over there. Come on. Come on. Come on. I'm got, I need to keep you there. Die, 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 die. Thank you. Okay, that guy was easily taken care of just because of the wall that's just sort of there. But um, yeah, tried enforcers. One of them killed me on my second failure. He tanked three bazooka blasts and still lived. Which really pissed me off because he then... I just sort of assumed that he was dead and then he ended up throwing a grenade at me and kind of just rinsed me which really kind of pissed me off. The third attempt, however, was easily the best of the attempts. Um, I actually went through the entire segment, went through this level and the next level. Um, and would you believe it, when I actually got to the end, turns out Fraps didn't record the video. It, oh my god, it, like, that's the one that pissed me off more than anything, and I couldn't actually go f and redo the segment again because I had to go to some stupid appointment where I was thrown in front of a computer for about an hour and a half looking for jobs. It didn't really turn up that much, it, though, in all honesty. It kind of just sucked. No re real reason to hang on to that because I'm going to show off this thing, the Excalibat. It does this. And that's, well, I mean, it could beat the shit out of enemies, but I'm not taking it. reason I'm not taking it is because in an area like this, with really cramped hallways and small areas, it's actually really kind of shit. Um, simply put, because you kind of need a wide area to use it. Um, Firebomb is a bit different because you can just sort of, like it starts a small sort of projectile and then expands out. So you can just kind of s slide it in there like a needle and thread. Um, which is what makes it so much better. Um, but yeah, ow! I kind of just spent the like I spent a split second not paying attention and that's and that got me hit for a bunch of damage not that it actually matters in this case because there's another firebomb here and then I can just sort of do this and take care of them like that okay so let's get the hell out of here go in this direction so we can get to the door but um yeah Excalibur not really that great fourth and fifth attempts failed because my commentary went south the fourth attempt was going reasonably well, and then I just sort of started um, spasming with my voice. I'm not even sure if that's bloody the correct term to use or whatever the hell. But um, yeah, the, the voice, the commentary did not work out very well. I think it was up to around about this point that I got to before it went south, which kind of sucked because I was sort of in the process of explaining this and then went back to explain what the, um, what the Excalibat did. And then that's when I just sort of lost my shit. <laughs> Don't get the uh, enemies caught in these crusher traps because they will actually become immune to all of your attacks. And the worst part is they can still hit you. Now that guy just threw a freaking rocket at me. Um, I expected this because there's him and that one of the other guys back there who had a freaking missile. So I'm going to go ahead and sort of draw the enemies towards this area. Kind of. Because I want to hang on to the uh, bazook, the uh, firebomb blast that I've got left in there, and use it on the uh, 
try and enforce that's in this room just that I, I just had a peek at. Um, except I don't actually have the... Wait, where is the firebomb? Okay, apparently there just is none. Alright, well then let's pick up a bazooka with some more ammo in it. And then we'll take care of that room with the Triad Enforcer in it. We'll get rid of you as well, because you're an idiot. See, that's better. I actually pumped in four rounds to kill that guy. I didn't think that Triad Enforcers could tank three rounds from a bazooka. They don't seem to be able to tank three rounds from the, from the Heat Seekers, and the Heat Seekers, um, I'm pretty sure have a lower output of damage. Alright, so here we want to take care of all of the enemies in this area, and so we get a clear shot at the Enforcer, and just sort of pump him full of damage like that, and he still lived. Did I just narrowly miss and end up hitting, like, a wall or something? Because, for God's sake, these guys shouldn't be tanking such powerful blasts. Uh, hang on, is he? There he is. Yeah, he tanked, he tanked three there, but that actually makes sense because it's, it doesn't, it's not as damaging as a Bazooka Blast. It's like trading damage for precision, I guess. Kind of a balancing thing. But, whatever. An area like this would be good for the uh, Excalibat if you bothered to bring it with. Problem is, in this game, the Excalibat takes up the number four slot in your uh, weapon inventory. Um, they fixed that in the uh, remake, though. The, that becomes our uh, number five. It, it and it and the ow, yeah. It and the dark staff both um, go into the number five slot, and you can just use any of your reg conventional um, missile weapons in the four slot. I guess it's just because the um, Excalibur and dark staff are considered magic weapons and not actual missile weapons, but in this game, they just sort of shoehorned into the same category. Now, I would take with me some kind of missile weapon, but... Eh, nah, there's no real reason to. There's a bunch of missile weapons in this next level anyway. Speaking of which... Da -da 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 -da, uh, this is the point where I'm either going to proceed onward as normal, or add in an awkward cut, because it's very likely that I'll probably fail this level. And I have in fact indeed found myself having to record this level again. Um, it, no, this time it wasn't actually because of a death. I will explain this a little bit in depth a bit later on. But basically, uh, the game actually crashed on me. And no, this does not actually come as a surprise to me, should, nor should it come as a surprise to anybody who's actually had experience playing this game. Uh, no, we don't want to go in here, we want to go in here. This is usually where I start this level because, um... It's one of the uh, optional areas of the game, of the level. Um, it's literally just a room where you trigger a whole bunch of touch plates, and I'm going to try to trigger them all in as close to one fell swoop as possible, but of course, you know, kind of got stopped in a few areas. Um, but anyways, uh, th the problem with actually having to reload like from halfway through the segment is the fact that I've completely and utterly forgotten what I've was possibly talk even talking about um so i've got to kind of find a new train of thought um this room you can actually go in through two different ways and you can actually solve this uh, maze over here um it from either side it doesn't matter which side you come from you can still solve it uh solving it from this side no real reason to in all honesty it's just kind of just player preference if anything um and if you push this um, there is a random power up here, guarded by a low guard, and I have received a god mode. This is awesome because now I can uh, navigate a certain a bunch of the uh, level without any issues whatsoever. Uh... Oh shit! Oh, you can push this. Oh, I, th I thought this was inescapable. I don't know why I thought it was inescapable, but there you go. You can get out. Also, single-use uh, jump pad. One of only two encounters what, that we have with it, and the other one was in wall-to-wall, -wall, so... Don't ever have to worry about seeing that ever again. Okay, now, are we done with all these fellows? 
because I'd like to hit this switch and then launch a couple of uh, Godfire blasts here to get rid of all the enemies in this room. Cool. And I'll just go ahead and fetch the iron key because there's no reason to push these uh, bits of wall, but I'll push them anyway just for completion's sake, I guess. Okay, um, this is one of three areas that you... Well, this is one of the mandatory areas of the level because I mean, it nets you a key which you need to get out of here. Um, you have to get the other two keys as well in order to get out of here, and I am going to go and fetch another one of those right now. I uh, believe this is the door I want to go through. Yes, it is. Um, actually, should I go through this area first? No, no, I'll, I'll save this area for last, and we're going to go ahead and close the door here because we don't want to go in there either. Um, and I'll explain that in a little bit. Uh, this is where we want to go. Now, um, I want to shoot up... Okay, yeah, there was that one, and then there's just another one in here. Okay, we're taking care of that. And we want to just get in here and sort of make sure that the walls take care of all the enemies that we have here. Hit another switch. Um, here it's not going to matter what missile weapon I use because I'm not going to worry about the missiles. Because um, the thing I need to worry about going into this next room is the reason I've picked up this gas mask because it's another use of the gas trap. And what we want to do to get through this is to trigger that touch plate over in the corner of the room and then get in here. And then basically just stand on top of this gas mask because the gas mask that you're currently wearing is not going to last throughout the uh, duration of this gas. So once this one runs out, you just auto pick up the next one. And then this one will just uh, remove itself automatically as soon as the gas wears off. So you don't have to worry about having your sight impeded. There's always got to be the one enemy that tanks the freaking gas. That just lives throughout the entirety of the gas without any sort of gas mask. I swear to god, he's probably like a smoker or some shit. Or he's good at, at holding his breath. I don't know why the hell I thought of, I thought he'd be good at bloody tanking that shit if he was a cigarette smoker. It's kind of stupid of me to think that, but whatever. Uh, flame wall. Pick this up. And this flame wall is the reason why I want to go th through this room first. Oh, hello. Um, you can piss off. Um, before going into wherever that other one was. Yeah, here we go. Uh, we want to take care of this room first. Yield whatever the hell that is. Hit this switch. Um, don't worry about the uh, firebomb there because the flame wall is going to be infinitely better in this situation. Just because of the shrooms mode, if you accidentally pick one up, it's easier to shoot with the uh, flame wall as opposed to the shrooms mode. Um, and of course, Flame Wall just completely wipes this um, cordon of enemies out over here in the corner. Now, um, there is a Mercury mode here, which we use to fly up and into this little pen here to grab the gold key. And then from there, we just go through the elevator. And I believe the last area that we need to check out is, unfortunately, this one. Uh, the game crashed because I entered this room. No word of a lie. Um, this game, can, this area can cause the game to crash. I have had it crash on me a numerous amount of times. The stupid thing is... When I've been playing through this game, like, normally, without recording or anything, I've never had the game cr crash on me. In practice runs of this, I've so far had the game crash three times. So I'd hopefully like to move on and actually, you know, get this out of the way and not have to worry about the damn thing crashing or pulling a fast one on me or anything like that. So far it seems to be the case. So let's get the hell out of here. Um, so that we don't have to spend as much, and more, we don't have to spend, we don't want to spend more time in there than we have to. That's the point. Oh yeah, this weird little grey line thing on the floor. Let's stand on it. It's a pitfall. The most useless trap, because all it does is do a small amount of damage to you and slow your movement speed. That's literally all it does. It's very, it's very pointless. I don't understand why it even exists, but it, it's just sort of there. So, 
Uh, with that out of the way, we now have all three keys so that we can uh, explore the last door that we haven't explored, which required the gold key to begin with. But it nets us to a room that, that only has another door, which can be accessed through the silver key. And I just realized if I want to go through this area uh, quickly, I will need my mercury mode. So just pick up one of those two mercury modes in there. Um, I think there's just a bunch of um, pitfalls in here, which you can just fly straight over the top of if you have a shrooms mode. So you just do all this, and then it nets you, gets you down here where the iron key door is. And then in here, there's a few enemies sort of free, but most of the enemies in this room are confined to these weird cubicles or whatever. And it's easy to get rid of them because you just do that. And it sort of rinses them. I didn't actually think that that would have uh, broken that window. I'm gonna, I'm literally blaming, blaming that broken window on the flame wall that I shot to kill this high guard and the enemies that were in there. But anyways, I uh, used the flame wall quite effectively there, because um, we can now pick up this firebomb, which we will not be needing for the rest of this level, because um, the only enemy that we have to deal with is... Okay, thank you, no elevator music. Uh, is just the fellow that's in here. And you didn't have anything to deadly to begin with. Okay, we're done with this level. I'm hoping to god that this actually comes out reasonably well. I seem to be recording and whatnot, so with any luck, when I stop recording here, I'll have a segment that I can actually upload. Yay! God, this is a travesty! <laughs> Anyways, uh, next time we will be doing the room, as well as the level after it, because this is a short-ass level. So, see you for that.